What's going on, everybody? Off the top is in the building. Here to talk about AEW Fight Forever because at the uh, post-media scrum at World's End, Tony Khan has confirmed that AEW Fight Forever is not, in fact, dead. And this game will continue on all of 2024 and maybe even beyond because he confirmed they will also be making a new game in the future. And I really wanted to get y'all's thoughts on this. First off, starting off with the state of AEW Fight Forever right now and them putting out a new season that might go head to head with WWE 2K24. Brian, how do you think this is going to fare? And when do you think they actually drop season three with 2K24 right around the corner? All right, so we got the Tony Storm DLC that is dropping in about a week and some change, according to the Switch website. We don't know how true that is because right. I don't think we have gotten official confirmation from THQ that we are getting. Or, or have we already or no? No, we haven't. But as you know from yeah. before, they announced it like the day before it comes out. So right, we right. probably won't hear anything until the ninth. Yeah, so yeah. Not, so I, so obviously we'll probably get season three probably in about two months or so. And uh I don't know. Um, I don't think it's going to end up well for them. I think they should definitely wait uh, till probably around June and drop something then because right now waiting, waiting and waiting right now to do this now, I don't think it's the right move for them. Yeah, so two months, that's April. So that's kind of dodging WWE 2K24, but it's coming in right behind them. Do you think that would work for them loaded or do you think they should hold off? No, like drop, drop some content. Why wait? Drop it in March. Like, mm. so you saying go beat. against the beast? Go against them, yeah. You know what? It might be a I good idea it. because a lot of people don't like the 2K system. So, I mean, give people something they want. Put a new match type or two in there right yes. on top of 2K's release. On Stadium How Stampede you... again? Oh, not Stadium yeah, Stampede. You... I, I, li I liked your idea, though. Like, like, add, like, three wrestlers and add, like, a couple of match types in the pack for Season mm -hmm. 3. Why not do that? A cage match, please. Uh, handicap match, gauntlet. Add all those matches that are locked in Road to Elite. Like, what are we doing here? Like, come on, now is the time. Enough with the game modes, enough with the stadium stampedes. I don't want to see a trios mode. I don't, but they're probably, mm -hmm. they're probably gonna add it anyway. They're not gonna listen, yeah. they don't communicate. So we will see what happens. I don't think they should wait till June to add content. Just add it now. But like, stop messing around and just adding shit that nobody cares about. Yeah, that would be a really brave move, but you know what? I would I would respect them if they did it. I see you shaking your head over there, Kero. What do you think? Oh, I was just uh, thinking about the communication aspect of it. The fact that we got more substantial news from Tony Khan, who just only really gives the game the money. Like, all the management is up to THQ, up to Ukes. The yeah. fact that we got this from him is crazy. And I can't even trust this 100% either because... We know that in other aspects, Tony Khan doesn't really communicate with people well, like even with Kenny, for example. Uh, it seems like he learned Kenny's sickness from Kenny himself when he announced it on X instead of them oh, talking together. Yeah, so like that puts me into perspective and makes me question if it's true. But man, I still hold the belief that even though we had all this trouble with this game, that if you do a proper content run, just give us what we want it can it can be fixed people will come back if no man's sky that game can make a comeback and have the reputation that it does today you can release the content in june or alongside wwe 2k24 doesn't matter because there's also the this aspect to look at this game is an alternative right to wwe 2k24 it's an alternative yeah. it's always going to be an alternative um yeah, I don't think the two are like, oh, if 2K24 exists, AW Fight Forever does, cannot exist. There's no like uh, universal rule like that. So I'm actually, yeah. yeah, I'd be down. Like if they had the cojones to drop down some cool content, I think we would all cover it. We would all love it. Yeah. We would cover it, and I think if they put, like, a cage match in the game, we would even do content on it together where we can get in there and do, like, a four-way yeah. cage match. I think it would be a lot of fun. What do you think about everything we found out uh, at the Scrum, Mr. Dubs? I was just really excited to hear the multiple parts of the news where initially with the Samoa Joe promo, they announced that they're partnering with WB Games. That's another which big part. Is that, is that going to be exclusive to the game that Samoa Joe is a part of, the Suicide Squad or whatever, or is that going to extend further? Are they going to get involved and start funding AEW Fight Forever 2? Tony Khan himself, when speaking to AEW Fight Forever, said that, yes, they will be looking at making another game, but they said that's a long ways out, that's a possibility, 
but they will be supporting AEW Fight Forever as it is long term and talking about stars they could be adding. But to me, you need to do a lot more than just updating the roster and giving us three, ro- you say one wrestler a month. I mean, that's great and all. But when Loaded saying, you know, put in with those packs like match types, just take the ones out of the elite. Are you telling me you want to pay for the matches that are in Road to Elite just to play a normal game? Because that's ridiculous. Hell no. Me. A cage match. At this yes, point, I'll pay new. for it. You know what? Put the cage match in there. I'll pay for cage it. Cage match, sure. Give me a play in the table no, match. I'll pay for it. The match cage match is a new match type. I'll be sure. But the cage match itself, I understand if they attach it because the Dynamite Arena should have been free, but that was attached to the acclaimed DLC. So yeah. if they're going to put that as packs, fine. Cage match is a new match type, fine. But don't all of a sudden be like, oh, here's that gauntlet match that you played in Road to Elite, but now you have to no. pay for it to play it outside. That's ridiculous. But Both I should be added in patches. 100%. Yeah. And I hope they really at significantly upgrade the creator wrestler. I don't care if that is part of a DLC pack that we have to pay for. If it's just like, here's a revamped actual full-on creator wrestler, more hairstyles, more everything, not like one top for women, one top, one bottoms for women, and seven pants for men. That's not a, that's not an update. So right, I really true. hope they well, Clint, revamp. I know you're the creator wrestler guy, so I want to make sure we get to you before we get out of that creator wrestler topic. What do you think about the updates Tony Khan promised? You know, he's just really saying it's going to keep going. Do you think we'll get that creator wrestler updated this year, or do you think what we have is pretty much it, and we'll get drip-fed pants and shoes and logos? Well, if they're going to do another season pass, I think they should only focus on charging for wrestlers. Any creation parts, match types, stuff like that should just be a free update with with a patch, in my opinion. Yeah. You yeah. Use the money you get from the stars to fund the game. Uh, what's funny, though, is you guys pretty much took all the best you know, thoughts of the game, but what if they're saving the best updates to go against 2K24. Oh. What if they're just waiting? Because they know that when 2K24 comes out, it's going to absorb all of the video game talk for wrestling for those, what, two, three months? And then when it finally tapers down after WrestleMania, then they'll have, you know, it'll be back and forth. But what if they're saving the major updates that we've been asking for since day one for to combat 2K24? Maybe that's why everything's been so drip-fed, because they're saving it all for this, like, we're waiting. Waiting for a moment because we want to steal WWE's thunder a little bit because that game is massive every year. Yeah, this is how crappy it is, or if exactly the same, uh, people buy it and it's got a huge following. And big, big YouTubers cover the living crap out of it, so its stretch is or its reach is very, very long. So, yeah, you're right. It's David versus Goliath, though. So, if they're saving all of that big, uh, if they're saving their most impactful stuff for when 2k drops they tripping it's got to pack a punch yeah. they got to be knocking them out with that content they're going to yeah, drop man. what i thought you were going to say is they may be saving everything for their one year anniversary because that's what i was thinking i thought they were going to do like a huge update in june like boom this is aew fight forever 2.0 now you get all these match types you got a full roster let's go ahead and take this game out another year because as tony khan said they're going to do another game pretty much he's yeah. confirmed it Mr. Dubs mentioned the conversation he had with uh, Samoa Joe about WB Games being like a partner with them. So that'd be interesting if WB Games got involved with that as well. We'll see how WB ends up over the next few years. But um, I think if we do get another game, we definitely won't see that until 2026. And if that's the case, I think they just don't need to announce it. Sit back, take your time and build it up to be the best game you can make it be. Because this one was obviously rushed out. One thing I want to say. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next gen game, it could be that. And then it could maybe have the Nemesis system because doesn't WB own the Nemesis Ooh, system yeah. for Shadow of Mordor stuff? I mean, think about it. That'd It'd be, be super cool, cool for <laughs> AEW. Yeah. It would, most definitely. That'd be awesome. Yeah. What is the Nemesis yeah. system? It, have you ever played Shadows of Mordor? We'll talk about it off camera, but yeah. we will be keeping an eye on AEW Fight Forever and every update that is to come. So make sure y'all don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Off the top, out the building.